All right, guys, we're looking at pre-86 machine guns today. This is going to be a lot of fun. Stay tuned. America! All right, man, you never know what's going to come through the store. We bought this machine gun off of somebody back in probably January of 2019. It's now July. You can tell I'm sweating like a pig in the Texas heat. We just got the Form 4 approved on this. This is a pre-86 transferable machine gun. Uh, I, I'm not going to go into all the detail, but any machine gun legal for a civilian to own has to be built before 1986. This is one of those. Uh, we had it come in. It is, in fact, for sale. Uh, if you're interested, you can always get in touch with us. Uh, but this is a Cobra M11 in 9mm. It's made by SWD uh, with a matching SWD suppressor on it. Uh, this is the original can that comes on it. Of course, the gun is threaded like that. It's got a little short barrel. It does have a stock. Uh, you know, this would be a short barreled rifle if it was semi auto, but machine gun trumps short barreled rifle, uh, so you can always have a stock on a machine gun. Here's the gun up close. We, like I mentioned, have the factory suppressor. This is a two stamp gun. You'd have to pay 200 bucks for the machine gun and then for the can itself. The can has this rubber cover on the front. That is to control the heat. Uh, well, not necessarily control the heat, but to give you a place to hold on to on the front end of the gun. It does have um, the standard giggle switch. As you can see, I'm really bad in the frame with my mic shadow but there's our giggle switch that switches between safe and uh, semi or I'm sorry between semi and full auto here it says SMG for submachine gun we have a stick mag in the bottom I think it's about 30 rounds I haven't really checked that out yet you pull the charging handle at the top this is an open bolt gun so you'll notice when you pull the charging handle the bolt does stay back and that bolt follows every time the round goes through it cycles and then the bolt reopens again so that's whenever you hear open bolt machine gun that's what that means that the bolt is open here it is from this side you do have safe and fire switch right here I made a mistake on the other side uh, that was just a fire selector and then you have the stock this thing if you squeeze it it folds up like that and then of course you can take it like this and you have that button Let's see if I can do it I can't really do it one-handed we're gonna get my lovely assistant push the stock in from the back there it goes see how it goes in there so that's what it ends up looking like with the stock folded over pretty classic 80s freaking Chuck Norris look to it even though uh, in missing in action and all that he was using many Uzis but nonetheless close enough right so that's the gun itself I can tell you after having run this gun some it is not incredibly accurate so bear with us when we go to do our shooting if you've seen my other videos I'm a decent shooter we're probably gonna put my wife in there to run it uh, and she's an awesome shot probably better than I am but this thing is pretty wild between the little short barrel the fact that it's running full auto it's not like an H and K or something my mp5s they say right on full auto this thing's pretty wild also keep in mind that this is what I'm running here this is trash ammo that I got out of some gun collection that I bought if you look at that it says nine millimeter use soon so the stuff that's in here uh, it doesn't even have the same type bullet in it, so it is going to be pretty wild. But as far as just spitting out full auto trash, why not, right? It does feed and eject pretty well. We tested the gun. Part of the reason why we're doing this video uh, is so that we can know this gun runs really good before we try to sell it to a customer for several thousand dollars. So let's take some shooting, see what happens, and uh, it ought to be pretty fun. Okay, first we're going to run a little steel on my crappy sawhorse steel holder. And then we are going to move over here to the soft drink bottles, just cheapo, colorful soft drinks. We're going to shoot those all up. And then we're going to mag dump shortly after that. All right, so I figured you guys would rather see a girl shooting than a fat, sweaty guy in July in Texas. 
So we're gonna let her run it. As I mentioned, the sights are completely obscured by the suppressor, uh, and that gun's a little bit wild anyway, and we're shooting crappy ammo, so don't hold it against her if she misses some, because that gun's, it's pretty wild. So here we go. Full mag. That was fast. And she didn't miss, so that's good. All right, so we're gonna shoot some ghetto soft drinks, see what happens here. Yeah! That's it. That's pretty cool. All right, so what we're gonna demonstrate here is the cyclic rate of this little gun. According to them internets, it's about 1,200 to 1,250 rounds a minute. I can tell you it is fast. So here she goes, 32 rounds. That's it. So this little M11 is an awesome, awesome little gun. The suppressor is completely here and safe. We wore Air Pro all day, but you don't really have to. Super quiet ultra fast you can't really hit a whole lot with it i mean we did okay obviously she did fine shooting it uh, but it's it's not a precision rifle by any mean but it is super fun super fast and super cool to run and i think that uh if you got the money for something like this i'd get it we're definitely going to end up building one of these because i have an 0702 we can build machine guns legally uh, for law enforcement dealer samples so that's what we're going to do probably this one will go on for sale. I'd say the video is pretty successful today. The gun shot real well. It cycled real well. I feel really good about selling it to my customers. So, man, these things are fun. If you can make it down to a range to run one of these or something like that, give it a shot because it's super, super fun. Y'all take it easy. Hey, guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future, too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video, and we hope you'll follow us in the future.